Okay, so you sign up for MailChimp and you're ready to start your email list, but you're not quite sure how to get the forms onto your website so you can start collecting emails. So in this video, I'm gonna show you a number of ways you can get those forms onto your website so people can sign up and start receiving your emails. So let's get into it. Now the first one I'm gonna do probably isn't the most popular, but we're just gonna to link to a basic form from our website. So we're going to log into MailChimp and head to the audience tab, second from the top, and then click on sign up forms. We then scroll down to Form Builder. And we can now go in and edit our form, put in the fields that we like. Once you're done, head to the Sign Up Form URL, right click and copy the URL to your clipboard. Now head to your website. Then you can simply head to your page and add a basic hyperlink into your editor, uh, which is quite simple in WordPress where you highlight and just click the little chain icon and right click or hit Control V to paste the link into the field. Now when you preview your page and click the link, you'll be taken to your form. Now the next method is to embed a form using HTML code. So once you're logged into MailChimp, you wanna again head to your audience tab and head to sign up forms. Once there, scroll down to embedded forms and you will have a series of options to choose from there. Now you can see we have a few options across the top here. This is the standard form that most people will want to use. There's a condensed email only form and you can edit and customize most of these. Horizontal is very similar to condensed, just a slightly different layout. And then unstyled is for more advanced users. But we're going to switch back to a classic form. Now using the classic form, once again, you can go in and you can sort of customize some of the fields. There are a fair few options if you look that you can actually take advantage of to customize it. But ultimately we want to come in here and we want to copy this code. And then we're going to head back to our website and we're going to add a HTML block and we're going to paste the code in there so that we can basically preview and see what the form looks like. The next form we're going to add is a pop-up modal form, which essentially pops up on the screen when a visitor enters your website. Now again, once you're logged in, we're going to go to audience and sign up forms to get started. Then we scroll down to subscriber pop-up. And now you get taken to the pop-up form editor with a basic layout. You can go to layout settings and choose something a little bit different. And uh, once you do, you can go in and make some basic edits. Things like changing the, the text at the top. Um, you can then also go through and change the image sitting off to the side. And this is a very basic editor, some very basic options that you can use to customize the look of your pop-up. Now, once you've finished editing the form, you hit save and publish, and you get presented with this screen. You enter your website address, and then uh, just simply accept the terms and uh, continue on from there. We click get started. And then it'll give you a code for you to copy into the head of your website. So you click copy to clipboard and then we head back to our website. Now, if you're using WordPress, uh, I do recommend a plugin in order to add this to your header code. So head to plugins and add new. And then do a simple search for header code. And then you'll see insert headers and footers by WP Beginner. So we're gonna head down and install that plugin and then activate it. Now you will get taken back to the plugin page, but we wanna go down to settings and then insert headers and footers and click that. You see here, we've got scripts in the header. We right click, we paste our code in there, and then we simply scroll down and save. Now we just switch back to MailChimp and check the connection and then turn on in order for the pop-up to actually be activated. So we turn this on by switching this, hitting close, head back to our website, and we get a nice little pop-up there on our screen. Now the next step is we're gonna to link to a more comprehensive landing page. Now this one's a little different. We're going down to campaigns instead of audience. And we're gonna actually go, once we were there, we're gonna go up to create campaign in the top right corner. And you'll see there, landing page. And we're gonna click on that. Now we're just gonna give our page a name, choose the list we wanna use and click begin. 
And when you get here, you can select a basic template, something you can start with, but then customize to the way you want. I'm gonna choose this one. Now this will take you to the landing page editor. If you simply go through on the left-hand side preview, click the areas you want to edit, a right-hand panel will appear, and you can basically update some of the text, even the background images, to really get the look uh, customized. Now I recommend reviewing the entire left preview, change out anything you don't want there so you don't have any sort of mistaken default elements and it looks the way you want it to. So once you've got that done and looking the way you want, head to save and close in the bottom right hand corner and move on from there. You can then just check all the details and make sure everything is how you want and click publish to publish the page. The following page will then give you a link that you can copy and use just like we did earlier in the video. And that link will take you to the landing page people can use to sign up for your email list. Now we're going to look at making this work with some WordPress plugins. This will allow you to create a block you can add to pages and widget areas as a form. Now as usual we're going to head to plugins and we're going to click on add new. And then we're gonna search for MailChimp for WordPress. And then we wanna install MC4WP, MailChimp for WordPress. We're gonna click install, and then we're going to click activate to activate the plugin. Now again, we'll be taken to the plugin page and we wanna scroll down to MC4WP, and we wanna click on that. And then we have to add in our API key to link up to MailChimp. So we switch back to MailChimp, we go down to our bottom left icon, click on that, and head to Account. Then we head to Extras at the top, down to API Keys. Now you can scroll down, and you'll see you may or may not have keys here. If you don't, simply hit the Create a Key button, just here, and then you can simply go back and copy the API key you need, and take it back to WordPress. Now paste the key into the API field and click Save Changes. This will connect your MailChimp account and you can now start adding blocks to your pages and widget areas. If you scroll down, you can see your lists down there, but we're gonna to head to Appearance and Widgets. Now much like a page, we can scroll down and we can add in a block for the form. Now you'll notice it says form one here. If we head back to MailChimp for WordPress and go to form, we can actually go in and make some basic edits to the form itself. We can add in some fields and even edit the HTML. You can explore some other options such as the messages, allowing you to customize the messages when people use the form. And you can also set it up, choose which list you want it to actually link to as well as a few other options like your double opt-in uh, and what actions you want it to take to existing subscribers. And of course, when you're done, hit Save Changes. And then move on to Appearance. And we're gonna pick a theme that we want for it to use. So we're gonna go with, say, a blue theme to get it looking the way we want, save those changes. And now we're gonna jump onto the website and see how it looks. And keep in mind, if you search for more plugins by just searching for MailChimp, there are a bunch out there you can use, such as MailChimp for WordPress, uh, for WooCommerce, which links up to your store. There's the top bar, MailChimp top bar, and a whole bunch of other options you can use if you really wanna see what's available for you using a WordPress plugin. So I do recommend exploring that to see what you can actually do and link up to your site because it's a very powerful um, sort of selection, a very powerful service to link up using WordPress. And that's it for today, guys. So as you can see, there are actually endless possibilities of MailChimp and your website. I've only covered some of the main ones here. But uh, if you enjoyed the video, uh, please consider giving it a like. If you want to sign up for MailChimp, there's a link in the description below. Also, don't forget to check out our channel for more great videos like this. And um, I hope to see you again soon. Have a great day.